All right, we're talking about blood again, and we keep doing this because the nation is facing its worst blood shortage in more than a decade. That includes Mercy Hospital, which has its own blood bank. They're very proud of that. And Director of Blood Donor Services with Mercy Hospital is St. Louis's Cheryl Barkhurst, and uh, she joins us right now. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Probably better than, than you guys are doing with your blood bank. You're in charge of about 75% of the blood in your bank at Mercy? Yes, we, um, we're very proud of that. We're the only hospital in Missouri that does what we do. Um, and we did that, we just, we spun out about 20 years ago. We thought that that was one more way that we could ensure safety and good patient practices for um, the people that we serve the most, and those are our sick patients. Yeah, we've been talking with the American Red Cross. Their supplies are down. What are your supplies like? Um, we are at critical levels, um, especially for OPAs. Um, We've been able to, I think we just have to talk about that. Um, we've been able to not have to cancel any surgeries at this point. Um, we think that we're kind of riding under the umbrella of COVID because COVID is already canceling some of those sur surgeries. So we're not at that point yet, but we are definitely um, doing everything we can to be resourceful. Um, our physicians are working very hard to be um, very strict with how they, they do utilize our blood products in order to maintain what we need for those traumas and our sickest patients. So we're working really hard every day to manage what, um, what we do have. Let's talk about the FDA and the, uh, the release of their new guidelines, if you could. Okay, so uh, kind of really exciting for us is um, this came out last week. Um, it used to be a very long period between um, having COVID and then be able to donate again. The FDA has shortened that time. If you have tested positive for COVID, you have no symptoms. Um, it's a 10-day deferral. If you had COVID and you do have symptoms, it's 10 days from your last symptom. Um, there is no deferral if you've received um, a vaccination with Moderna, Pfizer, or Johnson & Johnson. And so what that has done is it has increased the number of people who are now eligible to donate. So if you're in that window where you didn't think that you could, um, please check again. You can check our website if you want to kind of drill down into that. Um, we'd really love to see every donor right now. So if people can make a, a, a donation, I'm looking at your website right now, you can call to make a, a donation. Uh, the number mm -hmm. is 314-251-4483. Uh, and uh, your appointments are available Monday through Friday, correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, you know, we, we don't really put our hours on there because we really try very hard to um, accommodate every donor. So if we have a donor that calls and says, I can come in at 530, and maybe our hours are at five, but we have something else going on. We're gonna stick around to see that donor, especially during this time. Um, so we've left those hours really wide open to be convenient, accommodating, and to increase our blood supply at this point. So giving us a call is the best way to get in and the time that's convenient for you. All right, especially if you're type O, because uh, yeah. O positive can give to anybody except for O negative. <laughs> And O negative, got to get O negative. Hey, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, from Mercy Hospital, the donor services for blood, that is Cheryl Barkhurst. We're going to take a break. It is 748. Back with more Fox 2 News in the morning right after this.